Hello all my beautiful nail baddies out there and welcome to my channel. We have an exciting video today. Uh, we are doing a Timu haul that's going to be split up into a couple videos. If you have not heard of Timu, it is an online shopping app and they have just about anything you can think of for unbeatable prices. Um, this will be a couple parts but we'll hop right into the video. Our first item is a nail art cushion. It's an armrest. It's got a nice little zipper so you can pull it out to make uh, cleaning easy. I've actually wanted one of these for quite some time and when I seen one for under three dollars I figured can't beat that price. <laughs> Next up we have some lint free wipes. Um, this is a pack of 200 and I like that these came in the little case. Um, I think that's really convenient. I hate when they come in the little plastic bags and you have to try and keep them contained or even pull one out it just makes it a lot easier being able to pull can from a container <laughs> next up we have some nail foils these are some autumn and flower inspired ones uh i really like that this has a good mix of kind of some fall ones so some warmer fall vibes but also some summery springy flowers I really like these purple they kind of remind me of like lavender bushes almost um if my camera would focus sorry about that this will be kind of an adjustment so bear with me I'm really liking that these come with just a good mix of different floral designs. We got these really pretty rose ones with some like words in the background. Um, it says like, I love you and you know, just little cute little sayings like that. Oh, these things are such a pain to get back in. These are really, really long pieces of foil, too, I should mention. These are, I, I want to say, over two feet long per sheet. Um, see, I love these ones. These are beautiful. This would make a very pretty summer set. Lots of fun little foils to add to the collection. we have some UV protectant gloves. I had ordered a pair of these um, with my first Timu order and I accidentally ordered like, I don't know, they were weird. They were like disposable ones and they were so uncomfortable. They were super tight. They did not fit at all. So I was very, very pleased with these ones. These are amazing quality. They are super soft. They're not tremendously long, like they don't go really, really far up your arm. Um, they just seem to be the perfect length uh, for doing, doing your nails and protecting your hand while you're doing them. So I highly recommend, if you do not have a pair of these, to pick up a pair. Very soft. And on to our next item, we have a bunch of stickers. I am super excited about these. I really, I'm obsessed with cheetah print and zebra print, like pretty much any any animal print. Uh, sign me up. And then you got the cute little mom buns on here. What? Like I have never seen nail decals like that. These ones also are incredibly unique decals. They're textured. They like, I think they call them most of the time like 5D is what they would consider them because they almost have like an embossed uh, raised texture. Just a very unique decal. I really like that you can do like the, that the butterflies came in uh, separate wings too so you could put like a half wing on one nail and a half on the other to make them talk to each other if that makes sense and moving on to some more fun decals we got some 
Valentine's Day cupcake lip type themed ones. Uh, these you can kind of use for Valentine's Day or in between as well. And then we got some uh, pervy ones. I had to pick these up. I just a lot of these were very very unique decals that I've never seen. Up next, we have these really cute little skulls. I just thought these were, again, another unique uh, skull vibe that you could use on days other than Halloween. Kind of fit any mood or vibe. And then we got some more uh, Halloween-themed ones. I really like that these ones have, like, the little X's on it. They have, like, the Jack Skellington, if my camera will focus. There we go. They got some little blood splats and all different kinds of spooky faces. Um, again, like I said, they have the Jack Skellington, the Sugar Skull kind of theme vibe to them. So a good little mix of different decals on that one. I got tons of decals on this order. I just, I didn't really have very many, so I kind of went decal crazy <laughs> Again, we got some more pervy, bad bitch, boss bitch, you know. I'm sure we could come up with some, some pretty cool nail sets with uh, some of these just really, again, unique decals. Then we got some more spooky, drippy, pink, just kind of cute, unique uh, I like that these ones had the bows and the little, like, voodoo doll look to them. And the drips. I like that they had the drips on them, too. So if I ever wanted to do a faster set and not sit there and hand paint them out, I have the option to use the stickers, which is always nice. Can't beat doing a faster nail set here and there. I mean, I love doing my hand-drawn nail sets, but man, they take some time. <laughs> And moving on, we got some more flowers. I like this this little uh, duo pack that it came in because it had the different roses and hearts and stuff. But the other sheet that came with it is what I was really, really excited about. Um, just those little, like, bow, just the basic bows. I don't know what it was about those. And then the little like abstract rose looking things I really really liked on these very unique again just a lot of decals I've a lot of these I've never seen before and I feel like when you're ordering from a lot of the websites they tend to have a lot of kind of similar decals so it was just nice to be able to really you know pick from so many different just I could have ordered thousands of these I mean they have decals galore on Timu and I think like is these have been on an average of like 44 cents a piece I think so again we got some more sugar skull skull type vibes on that um I just I thought you could create a really cute punk rock you know kind of vibe with that set right there. Sorry if you hear my son's phone going crazy. It's on the charger in here and it's just blowing up right now. Um, again, we got some more sugar skulls. I really liked these ones too. They just had a good mix of florals with it. So you could use it during summertime as well and create, you know, a very cute but unique set with these. 
And these ones too were just a very, another very, very unique decal. I really like that these had that dimensional holographic reflective look to them. Lots of fun goodies. I swear I could, I could literally bankrupt myself ordering off of Timu. They just have so many creative and fun different things. And for amazing prices. Uh, next up we got some little mini cards. I thought these were so cute. I, I got another item that kind of goes along with these as well. That you'll see coming up here in a couple. Um, that I just thought would create a really unique set. Uh, you could encapsulate these with some acrylic or poly gel. And just make a very cute um, nail set with with the cards. You know, I don't know if you're maybe if you're going on a Vegas trip or something. A Vegas trip would be super ideal. This would make a bomb ass Vegas set. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry about that. I had to stop doing my voiceover for a second. Just turn my son's phone on to do not disturb blowing up next up we have just a basic nail glue um mine was running a little low and my cap is getting glued on there I, those things are such a pain in the butt once air starts to hit them and they start to dry up so figured i'd order another brush on nail glue always handy to have and with the prices i mean you can't beat timo i mean they just have incredible prices. Next up, we have this really unique uh, little ring palette. I feel like I'm always, you know, going in for other colors or touch-ups or trying to dip, especially when I'm doing detailed and having to reach over and look down to where my paints normally are. can be a lot more time-consuming and, and just not as convenient. And so when I'm doing my really detailed sets... This little ring palette will come in so handy. And I love that it came with the mixer, the dual end mixer. Mix your little colors up right on your little ring palette. And it is adjustable, which is really nice. So you can swap it between whatever finger. I did find that the thumb was most comfortable for me, though. Next up, we have some little micro uh, cotton swabs. These are amazing for cleaning up around your cuticle or if you are painting and you mess up and you need to just touch up any little mistakes. These come in really, really handy for cleaning up mistakes as well. Um, but again, like I said, around the cuticles, these are just perfect for any spillage you may have when applying your soft gel tips or your gel polish on super handy to have so I got two packs of those and they can be semi reusable you don't have to just use it once and toss it you can use it while you do kind of your whole set Up next, we have just this really cute, it's it's not nail related, but I am always looking for something to hold my secondary device while I'm recording and stuff. And, and so this little fold-up chair I thought was just too stinking cute to not get it. Very unique little phone holder and of course purple, it's one of my favorite colors. And it does hold the phone surprisingly well. It doesn't want to tip and stuff. Up next, we got some more nail foils. Um, I really like that these ones were different styles of the, the mermaid style print. Just very pretty, summery, springy, colorful vibes. These ones aren't as long as the uh, autumn ones that I had in the beginning. These are actually way shorter. I want to say these are probably a fourth of the length of the uh, 
autumn kit that I showed at the beginning of the video. Up next, we have some chrome powder, some mere chrome powder. Um, I have one that's like an aura one that I had just gotten on my last order from Timu too, but it kind of shifts colors when the light hits it. And I wanted one that was going to give me that, you know, kind of chrome effect, but not affect the color of the polish underneath it, if that makes sense. So I'd put the aura one that I have on top of some nails with a set and I ended up not liking it and taking the chrome powder off a couple days later because while the aura powder is very beautiful it just it wasn't given the right effect I wanted just that that basic chrome effect and this actually is a, a very nice basic chrome effect it's kind of hard to see it on my skin I will try and use it in one of the upcoming videos though to show how it um, looks once it is swatched on black and white polish as well. And then we have some little Aura Jelly um, rhinestones. I've seen kind of like little half pearl shaped ones but I just thought these were kind of a unique shape and I know that the aura jelly rhinestones are are very in and popular right now so thought it would be a fun little thing to pick up and test out and see what I think of them then we have some more little stamping plates um I really like these ones. There's some little roses and then some of the little dandelion uh, little blowy wish flowers. Um, some little fairies on there. And yeah, these are just really, really actually decent. They have quite a few images on, on the plates for how cheap they were. And they're not super bendable or flimsy. They are pretty sturdy, you know, good quality stamping plates. And this is our last item up. This is uh, the one that I thought would go really well with the uh, mini cards. They are card sequins, so it's got the diamond, the ace, the spade, the clubs. It's got A through Z, and it's also got 0 through 9, so you can make some very unique sets with these as well. And uh, this is going to conclude the first part of my Timu haul video. Mm -hmm.